Hello everyone, I am still not there, but I am here in a way. Um, we still have stuff to do that I need to get done with y'all and um, have some things for y'all to understand. Um, right now I am going to uh, explain to you my uh, classroom rules and procedures and you know why you need to listen because you're taking a quiz yes you're going to get on the computers you're going to log into Schoology for some of you the very first time and you're going to take a quiz over what um, I am explaining so do you have a piece of paper in front of you no y you need to sit there mouth closed and um, listen to the uh, procedures and rules as I explain them. If you have a question, yes, you can raise your hand and the teacher in the room will pause the video and you can ask a question. She may or may not know. When I am there, I will be back next week and we will get into our strict routines. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here's how you are successful in my class um, this year, and it's not too hard. First off, what is my job? It is to keep you safe and make you smart, and that's exactly what I plan to do. What is your job? It's really easy. Show up every day. Um, obviously, uh, I'm not a very good example of that right now. Um, it, I, uh, trust me, I really want to be there. Warm-ups. Here's a deal. There's a poster. If you look to your left, look to your left, look to your left. There's a poster above where it says date. I'm going to teach you that when I get back. It is super easy. It's a grade I take every week. It is so simple um, yet helpful. I'll talk to you about that when I get back. Your next step is to learn something. And in social studies, like I said on the first day, um, where the other subjects have about uh, let's say 50 to 60 new topics to teach you. Math is usually a little less. We have over 130 in history. You need, you're going to learn uh, several new things. Um, and then you have to prove that you learned something, um, and then you go. That's it. I'm not going to read these. They're super basic. Uh, don't do anything wrong or else. And then some people say, well, what is it or else? You don't want to find out. No cell phones. I understand you'll have the smartwatches on. I did join that club of those. Uh, don't mess with them. Don't touch it when it's on your arm. Uh, no cell phones. There is no warning. Um, a cell phone's not on your lap. It's on your desk. It's not on the floor. It's not on the top of your backpack. I do not want to see your phone at all. Um, cell phones are to be out of sight completely. Um, I have three kids and I'm pregnant, and you will never, ever see me walking around with my cell phone at all because when I am there you deserve my time and attention and um, as I've said before you don't have homework so the only time I have with you is the very short amount of time I have you in whatever your class period is for social studies that's it that's all I have um, you'll never see me ever walking around with a cell phone um, and I expect the same out of you hope you're paying attention you have a quiz don't forget um, rewards um, positive uh, notes home almost that you have no idea parents when I write them an email um, I have I had some parents that could call me crying they're like it just made my day so much better um, and when parents are happy about what you're doing um, I don't know maybe they're nicer to you <laughs> um, so that really works in your favor um, the select your seat for a day is kind of a iffy subject these days um, Sit at the teacher's desk. I do have those uh, students who feel very powerful when they sit at uh, my desk, so that's a reward. Uh, yummy treat. I like to snack like the rest of us, um, so we'll talk about that in a minute. And then lunch with uh, friends in my class, so um, unfortunately it can only be a lunch, so that reward would only go for anyone who has a lunch um, or something else, I think. of. Uh, I hate talking about consequences. Again, don't do anything bad or else. Um, usually, um, we never get to an office referral. I don't talk about those um, because guess what? You go to the office, you always come back. So you're going to learn to be successful and have a, um, uh, an easy time in class. Um, conduct grades will show up on your um, report card. There's no food unless I give it to you. So um, one of the nastiest things I eat, see is people eating chips, talkies, and licking their fingers. I don't think so. Not happening. However, I like to snack, and students are obsessed with these little cheap cookies I buy. I have something called a, this blue box. I might be getting a different snack box. Um, I have cookies, and I 
bring candy. Um, I love to snack. And so I use that as rewards when I call names um, and you can come get something. Students always love that, but you can only eat if I give that to you. Um, it is not just open snack time anytime. Um, assigned seats, there is absolutely um, whatsoever um, no option to sit anywhere but your assigned seat. Um, I did have them put you in alphabetical order. Um, as soon as I get back, that's changing. So you will be out of al alphabetical order. Um, I have other ways. Um, your assigned seats, you don't have to go to that person's birthday party. You don't have to invite them to your birthday party. You will sit next to them during social studies and that is it. Um, so assigned seat every day. Um, do not walk into my classroom until you're ready to sit in your seat. Uh, be quiet and begin your warm up. So some people came right from Miss Nash or Miss Sullivan or Miss Grimes. That's really close. You don't have to come directly to me. Do a lap around C Hall. I don't care. And then come to class. Um, but be ready. Uh, the Thomas teacher aide is going to pass out um, warm ups. We'll talk about that again. That's going to be something that we start when I get back. And I'm sorry that we're not starting this immediately. Uh, here's a big one. Once you walk into my classroom, you can't leave. So here's the most annoying thing. Um, you are not to come in, put your backpack down and say, I have to use the bathroom. Don't come into the room. Go use the bathroom and then come into class. Um, you cannot use the bathroom during class unless it's an emergency. If you, um, and this is, may have already not been followed since I'm not there, but I'm very strict about this. Again, you don't have homework. I will use every minute. You'll be surprised what happens when you're on the toilet for three minutes and not in my class. Uh, you actually miss things. So unless it's a major emergency, uh, you are not to use the restroom in class. If you all look to the right by the door, look to the right, there's a pocket and it says emergency pass. That is for the bathroom. When I get back, there will be a blue pass in there, but that again is only for emergencies. Another thing, um, I have some students say, you let um, him or her go to the bathroom and not me. Um, other students, um, personal business is not your business. Um, for example, last year I had a student who had a, a kidney transplant. Um, she was uh, having to drink liquids um, a lot throughout the day. So due to her medical issue, she is allowed to use the restroom whenever she needs to because she has a documented medical issue. But guess what? That's none of your business. So be very careful in any class when you say, well, why'd you let him go to the bathroom? Why did you let her and not me? It's not your business. So think about when someone parks in a... Um, handicap spot do you ask them why do you get to park in that handicap spot what's wrong with you why don't i get to park there it's just not appropriate bring a pencil every day history binder they're over in the cabinet don't worry about it that's um where your stuff goes um that we're not learning right now if you look under where it says warm-ups to your right of the classroom look to your right look under there there are six drawers that's for your packets you'll turn them in every day we'll start that next week okay so as we do these things you'll get used to it warm-ups every day i'm not teaching you until i get back um so when you walk into the classroom i need you to sit down and just close your mouth until you have instructions from that teacher because we're not to warm ups until I get back. Turning in papers, you always pass them to the front of the class or the Thomas teacher aide. I'm going to be choosing. I need two teacher aides in each class. So uh, when I get back, uh, I'll be if that's something you like to do. Um, then I'll be asking you all when I get back and I'll write those people down. Um, so. You always turn it, never just say, I'm done and come hand me a paper. It just doesn't work that way. Don't ever put anything on my desk. You, we always pass it to the front. Easy. If you're tardy, walk into the classroom, as if you're not. Actually, sneak into the classroom, as if you're not, uh, you know, if it, be sneaky. I, I don't want to notice that you're tardy, so just sneak in. Trash, keep it to the end of class. We're up, we're, we're, I'm in the front of the room. We're learning. You're writing things down. I don't need someone randomly getting up and throwing trash away. Just wait till later. I skipped something. I did. Oh, fire drills. Um, look to the right. Look to the right. Everybody, look to the right. That black um, 
folder, hanging folder. It, it should say emergency folder, has the red folder. Um, I usually, so I'll have someone grab that, take out the um, piece of paper that says Thomas, and you'll hold that so we'll have a line leader that we can follow outside to a fire drill. But you already had one on the very first day. Why is this class so structured? We don't have homework. So every single second is used. And um, it's because we all have different lives outside of school. But I, the 46 minutes, uh, 47 minutes I have you in class, uh, I'm going to try to make you as successful as possible. So uh, again, remember, you are sitting in a McAdams Junior High Social Studies class. We are the most successful social studies campus in Galveston County, which includes Clear Creek ISD. Y'all take the test. Y'all um, do so great at it. But as teachers, we set you up for that success. So you need to listen to what we're saying because we're trying to make you the best you can be. All right, that's my website. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, here's what. I'm going to be making a separate video. Um, the teacher in the room is going to turn off this video in a second. Um, but you need to, when she tells you or he tells you, you're going to go get a computer. You're going to log in and stop there. So at this time, you're going to take a quiz over what I just talked about. She's going to stop this video, and you are going to get a computer and log in and stop there. Okay? And we'll find out a second who's listening. And, yes, it is for your first grade. So good luck.